Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to animate an eye blink in anime style inside of After Effects. So let's start. So right now we are inside of After Effects and I have already illustrated eyes over here. And this is, these two are the retinas and this is the eye white and I have copied it a bunch of times. One for the retina, I use this eye white layer for as a track mat because I don't want the eye retina to move outside the eyes that's why and also the eyelids i have made only one eyelid and if i animate this one then i can simply copy it for and just reflect it for the other side so let's proceed with the eyelid anyway so here i have converted the layers into shape layers and right now we are going to animate the path for this particular eyelids or the eyelashes so let's start so right now we are going to animate this big eyelash layer and uh, i'm going to animate the path of this particular shape layer so i have uh, i will just put a keyframe on the initial frame and i will jump on to next three frames and I will simply select and just transform it. By the way, if you don't want to know how to transform a path of a particular shape layer, then just select the path like this and just double click on any of the vertices. And right now it is in transformation mode. Like this, you can transform. Okay, so let's just adjust the path of this particular layer for this particular keyframe. And I have used these two rulers as a reference so that uh, I mean, uh, the whole uh, after the whole blink, when the eye will be closed, the eyelash will be somewhere in between. So that's why. So let's adjust the path. So I will jump onto the next frame and just simply flip it for the other side. So flip it means. Basically, it will uh, just incline downwards for this frame and I will adjust it accordingly. And at the end, the whole thing will last for, I mean, the whole eye closing part will happen till 5th frame as I am in 24 frames per second. So this will be the last frame and I will just adjust it slightly. Okay, if we preview it, then uh, let's check the preview first. Yeah, it's looking perfect. After that, I'm going, this whole closed moment of the eye blink will last for around four frames. And I will simply copy this whole thing and just reverse the keyframe orders. Perfect. So, Right now we are going to animate the other small eyelashes, uh, I mean this ones. So this uh, thing will also, I mean, happen in the same procedure. I'm just going to animate the parts of it. If necessary, I'm going to adjust the path or else I will simply just transform it accordingly. Now let's preview it. Yeah, I think there is some in between is needed. Yeah, at this particular point, we need to add some in between. Yeah, it's looking perfect now. So right now we are going to proceed with the eyelash of the downside. I mean this one. So the same procedure will be followed. So let's do that as well.
so yeah it's looking perfect now only thing that is left is we have to add the eyelids so for that purpose only I have just copied this white white layer inside this composition because we are going to use this as a track mat so let's do that as well so first of all I'm going to make the upper lid so for that I will simply jump onto the fifth frame and just take the paint tool and simply draw a shape like this okay so I'm going to just copy the color code from the skin color so I'm just going to turn this to a shape layer first okay so after that I will just copy this eye white layer and just put it above this eyelid so let's rename it so I'm going to animate the path of this shape layer again so the same procedure I'm going to just adjust this in this particular range and I will just simply copy and reverse the keyframes that's all so I will apply this as the track mat I mean uh, this eye white layer will be used as the track mat so I will just copy the keyframes and reverse it let's preview it first yeah it's looking fine so I'm going to do the same for the down the uh, lower eyelid as well so everything is looking pretty fine so right now i'm going to animate this above and below the extra skin layers above and below the eyes so for that i'm going to use pin tool so i will add pins okay so right now i'm going to just adjust the position of the pins or the three pins so first of all this is the initial position and i'm going to just add keyframes in between okay so basically you have to reverse the whole thing and let's preview it yeah it's looking perfect i will do the same for the other side as well now let's preview it yeah it's looking everything is fine now so i will jump onto the main composition and let's check it now how it's looking yeah so after that i'm going to select this eyelid and copy it and just duplicate it for the other side i will just flip it and after that i'm going to select this that original eyelid and i will just turn off the eye button and it is check it yeah perfect so after that what we need to do is we have to animate the eyebrows so when the eye will move down the eyebrow will also slightly move down and also rotate a bit i will just first of all adjust the anchor points now I will select both of the eyebrows and open position property put a keyframe rotation property put a keyframe and after that I will jump onto each of the frames and just and I will slightly rotate it as well and same I am just copying and just reversing the frame orders I mean the keyframe, keyframe orders okay so everything is fine now now when the eye is closing while the uh, while it's blinking the retina will also slightly move so i will open up the position property of the retina as well and i will slightly move it down and same thing i will just copy and reverse the frame order 
perfect now so after that i'm going to move it slightly and the whole eye will slightly move down when it's blink so for that i'm going to add another position keyframe so this is a null layer basically so with this you can i mean i have parented everything okay so i forgot to parent this eyelid which we have later on duplicated so with this you can move the whole uh, eye if you want to and this is the retina layer and i have just added for the reason that uh, if you want to move the retina right or left up or down for that purpose only so let's move the whole eye slightly downwards and same thing i will just copy and paste and reverse the keyframe order i think we can go a bit farther and I will just simply offset it a bit perfect so right now uh, we will also add uh, some squash and stretch to it let's check it out how, how it looks so Yeah, it's looking perfect now. Okay, so that is how you can animate uh, anime style eye blink in After Effects. So I would highly recommend you to try it on your own. You can even go even further and add more animations to it to make it look more interesting. So hope you enjoyed a lot and learned a lot in this lesson. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the video then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye